We are really particular about what the girls wear and just about the reason that we care. And it comes from 1 Corinthians. And it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. And that's kind of where we base why it matters to us that you kind of take care of your bodies and you dress in a way that you respect your body. We consider immodest clothing to be short skirts. Like the girls, their skirts have to touch the ends of their fingertips. The shirts have to be long enough to cover your stomach. The girls don't wear things that show their bra straps. I noticed that Julie was pretty taken back about how our family chooses to dress and um, you know, our mouth dropped open. If you're not gonna follow one of these rules, then we have what we call the consequence jar, meaning that since you're not working as a team, that's fine, we just go to the jar. And, um, and actually you're gonna have an extra, extra chore. The family I would describe as like Bible thumper type people. I mean, it's just really cheesy and kind of dumb, you know? We definitely, you know, they definitely go, we use these. My God, I hate this. Once we had talked a little bit about the house rules, we gave the kids an opportunity to go into their room and uh, by themselves and to maybe bring anything back to the table that they had that violated those rules. The modesty rules are ridiculous. Oh my God. Should I say no, like straps? That means I can't wear that. Can't wear that. <laughs> Booty shorts, not fingertip length. Oh God. Okay. Met with him at the table and Sebastian didn't bring anything. Holy cow, she's, she's burying her soul now. Julie brought her clothing out, put it on the table, and then the, the things that she had were not considered modest. Not that. Yeah, that's pretty short. And you're tall, so you have I know, I hate that. Harder. Not that. That's strapless too. We might have to go shopping. Yep. I don't want you not to have anything to wear. Whenever we uh, wrap up our day, we always kneel around the table and uh, have a family prayer, and then we'll go in our different directions, okay? The rest of the week, I'm just gonna kinda lay low, you know? Kinda play the shy kid card or whatever, you know what I mean? Just to stay out of the radar. Heavenly Father, we gather around this table tonight, and we're grateful to have Julie and Sebastian in our home. We pray a blessing upon them that they may have a good night's sleep and that they'll get the rest that they need. We pray for these things tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen the modesty. That seemed to be a hot topic for her and um, maybe some problems there. Hey, now your shorts, they're kind of... Are you kidding line. me? No, I'm serious. Are you serious? No, I'm listen. serious. Night, Julie. <gasps> Good night. Julie and I just don't share the same idea of what is appropriate for a 16-year-old to wear. Julie and I are going to take a little shopping trip. I'm going to take you to some of the stores that are just downtown. Most of Julie's outfits that she packed would not be acceptable to wear in our house or outside of our home. Whatever skirt or shorts you have on that, it's fingertip. Like, you know, just if, if things could like hit you about right there. You do have a pair that's just a little bit longer. I don't want to wear those. I think it shows a lack of self-confidence when you want to show everybody everything you have up front. It's not just the rule, it's like kind of the principle behind it. Like I, I feel like I am beautiful enough that I don't have to show everything. I don't really care what other people think about me because it's what I feel about myself. Pitcher. Really? This is fun! Shopping! Think about it! Woo! I'm at a point where I'm really annoyed. Let me check. Let me see what your skirt length is here, hon. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Dress. Clothing is not allowed in our home or outside that exposes breasts, butts, <laughs> boxers, or that which is too tightly revealing parts of the body which should be properly displayed. All my clothes are like really fitted though. So okay. It's a really hard one. I'm gonna let Vanessa be the one that when you know when it comes to that, she'll probably talk to you about it if it's to this or to that. But then as far as uh, boxers, having your pants below your butt, I would have to ask you if you could not do that. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, as far as so now at this point, we're going to let you go ahead and get unpacked and get settled. So, again, welcome to our home. While I'm here, I can't imagine me having much freedom at all because he seems to like 
want to control everything and everyone in the house and just won't like let anyone do what they want to do. I think the rules are a bit too much to take on. I don't mind boundaries and like certain things what to do. When there's like a massive list of things I can't do or that shouldn't be done in general, it's just too much. Like his rules, man, that's so stupid. He's telling me how to dress and not to smoke and stuff. You need to get that skirt changed right away so we can get moving. Can't I just stay in there? There you go. There you go. It's longer now. Dana, what did I just say? Yeah, but I've already done it. So let's go do else. it, Dana. Let's 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 go do it. Go, yeah, but go I've change. already done everything else. No. Any hint of disobedience always results in immediate action. You don't change, and for the rest of the day until this time tomorrow, you don't eat. No, I'm gonna still gonna eat. How are you gonna eat? We're not gonna let you eat. You brought some food with you? No, but you can't make me starve. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. You wanna try me? I can get a I can give an edict in this house right now that Dina will not eat until tomorrow. Well, that's just a bit stupid. Okay, well it's stupid that you don't do what I tell you to do. But it's only clothes, who cares? Okay, oh, it's only food, who cares? No, but that's different. No, it's not. Yeah, because food You want to eat. You want something from me, right? Yeah. Right? And I want something from you. Yeah, but I've already done stuff for you. I've already, like, You haven't floors. done what I'm just telling you now, is to change that skirt and let's go. That was the past. This is the present. We're moving toward the future. You've done that. That's over with. Now I'm asking you to change that skirt and let's get going. For God's sake, okay. So you can eat the rest of the day and okay, tomorrow morning. Okay, I will change. Okay, and you know what? Uh, I'll give you five minutes. It shouldn't take that long. Okay, I'm going to change. Okay, we'll be waiting. They've been told to wear suitable clothes for a day in the country. But Hannah's outdoor wear is leaving a lot to be desired. Are you going to party? No. Eh? I wear this every day. Little bit every day. Not just the parties, I wear a skirt every day. This is what I wear. That I don't have to party. Go... No. You're going to party. No. This. No. But every no day. party. I wear this whatever. I wear this farming. If I have to. She doesn't want you won't be okay in that skirt. Or that party. It's longer than my shorts. Nicola, I have five minutes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to wear them. Something like Okay, you just stay here. All right. Oh. <laughs> I hate nature anyway. <laughs> At home, Hannah gets away with doing whatever she wants. But in the family, disobedience gets punished. So while Ali takes Richie, Erdem and 19-year-old cousin Doric to the goat herders, Hannah gets her just desserts. Kitchen and balcony. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Shannon's scary and strict. When she tells me to do stuff, she looks quite angry. In front of a congregation of a thousand, he expects the teens to be presentable and on time. Sevda decides it's time to get changed. Sevda? Hello? It's about five minutes. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm just getting dressed. Awesome. See you in a minute. Probably. Sevda, how long do you think it will take, sweetie? Oh, my God. There we go. For image-conscious Sevda, making the right first impression is everything. You're about to fall out of there. <laughs> you might want to bring something to throw over your shoulders. So what are you saying? I really think that you probably need to rethink wearing that particular top. If they don't want to look, they don't have to look. I'm not forcing them. I think that men are created very differently than us, and I think they can't help but look. However, I do want you to know that everyone is accepted at our church, so you can wear that if you would like. Yeah, of course. I'd, I'd love to wear this. I'm not complaining. You're the one who's got an issue with it. Do you want to bring a shawl in case it gets cold? Yeah. Okay. If she knew how the gentleman would look at her, not just the young boys, but the older men, and how it would um, play out in their minds, she would not be happy with what they might be thinking. And that's a sad thing, when sex and love are totally separated. Oh! The service has already been running for 10 minutes when the teens finally arrive. Covering up the chest, covering up the chest. 
<laughs> Thank you, Stepdad. It's all right. When you go in there, you'll find all different kinds of people in all different kinds of dress. You're not going to have to say anything. 